Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at Google Presentation now. Uh, it's part of Google Drive and, and Google Docs, so if you have a Google account, this will work for you. Uh, I'm already signed into drive.google.com. I can see all my Google Docs all listed here. I go into Create, uh, into Presentation. And this pretty much works just like PowerPoint. I use this now instead of PowerPoint for all my talks, all my classes. Uh, one of the latest changes is that they all are in widescreen. Uh, so you basically start off, they have a pretty good selection of themes that you can choose from. You can change if you want widescreen or if you want to change it back to normal. I've left it at widescreen now. I haven't had any issues. I was a little bit worried with normal monitors and mobile devices, but I've tested it out. It works pretty decently. So I'm going to start off and I'll take Biz and click on OK. So it'll start off the PowerPoint, you know, for you. And this acts exactly the same way that you would normally use PowerPoint. Uh, so you have all of your options up here. I can insert, uh, you know, videos and word art and shapes. I can add in comments if I want to leave a note for myself or a colleague. I can format individual pieces. Uh, I can download this thing as a PowerPoint or a PDF uh, if you need to. Uh, but basically, you know, you click into it and you write your text here um, and then if I want to add a new slide I just click on the button if I right click or control click on the Mac I can duplicate the slide if I have a couple pieces delete it uh, change the theme or the layout As you can see the layout choices are the pretty basic ones that you have or want on uh, PowerPoint I can transition if I want to I can uh, click and drag slides, you know, back and forth to different pieces. Uh, a couple of the cool things that we have: uh, editing. I mean, embedding of videos in this works really well. So if I want to add a video, I can insert a video. Uh, if it's already in YouTube, it works great. Uh, if it's a Google Drive video or a video that you have on your computer, it's a little bit more challenging. So my advice is to add it to YouTube and then basically make your video private and add in the URL here and it will automatically embed. So because this is an online PowerPoint, the nice thing is that embedded videos work really well. Uh, a couple of the things that you'll need to know about, um, things that I use all the time, basically you know you're working on a PowerPoint with a colleague. One of the nice things about Google Drive is that it's online and you can collaborate with others. So the way that we do that is I go over here to share. Uh, I'll just call it the test. And this is the normal Google Drive sharing settings that you can see. So if I want to share this with Greg, I can add in his name here. And I can give Greg the opportunity to edit, um, say that, and share it with him. Also, what I'll do is when I give a talk, what I'll either do is I will change this to anyone with the link and then I change this to comment so when I go give a talk I'll embed this in my blog or embed this on the wiki for the talk or the website uh, and then people that I give them the specific link to they can go and they can leave comments even during the talk so I can see if there's questions uh, the other opportunity that you have to share this with people is go to file publish to the web and then if I publish this thing then the nice piece is I get this embed code. So this is the embed code. This is where uh, you know I'll embed this in my blog or I'll embed this on a on a website or you know whatever document that I have uh, and send this out. So if I send this to my class, I can start my PowerPoint. I can go and and publish it. Grab the embed code, put it on Blackboard, put it on the class website. Students can watch while I'm embedding or while I'm building the PowerPoint for class. Um, so I mean it's it's Google presentation and works great. I have no issues with it at all. It has all the basic functionality that you would want to use in, in PowerPoint. The nice thing is that it's online so that if you edit a document, uh, you know, the PowerPoint, you don't have to delete the old one and re-upload a new one. Um, you know, here's an example of one that I used the other day in a talk. Uh, I shared this out publicly online and a colleague of mine in Germany basically said, hey, this graphic here, I can't read. 
Uh, so in the middle of my first talk, I realized that I had to, to fix that. Uh, but you can see how well it works. Um, it's nice and crisp and clear. It's a great way to share. Works great on Android and iPad and, and iOS devices. Uh, looks great, you know, embedded online. Uh, the one challenge that I have, and it works great on Chromebooks as well. That's one of the major pieces. In, in the Chrome store, it's going to be called Google Slides. So that's a little bit confusing for some people. The nice thing about adding the Google Slides piece is not only is it by Google and it works with Drive, but it works offline. So as long as you enable offline docs in Google Drive on your Chromebook, you can have your PowerPoint. So when you go do a class or do, go, you know, give a talk, if you don't have the internet, which happens all the time, uh, you can get on and you can use Google Presentation and still do your talk. Uh, so here's the one that I just created during the talk. So it's Google Presentation. I use it all the time. I use it instead of PowerPoint. Um, I can still use PowerPoint. Um, you know, let's say you have a colleague that needs to use PowerPoint. You can download this thing, as I said earlier, as a PowerPoint. You can also upload and include PowerPoint slides that you currently have and use. And uh, that's Google Presentation.